Hi, I'm back with your daily dose of Jesus is coming soon. Read your Bible one or two hours a day. If you're not part of this uh, channel, subscribe to us. We give you updates. We're here to remind you. We're your daily mix of four or five times a day letting you know Jesus is coming. And if you're lost, call up on him out there right now. Don't waste no time. We might not be here tomorrow. Call up on Jesus right now and say, Lord Jesus, please just come to me. I believe that you died up on that cross for my sins, for my past, present, future sins. And I believe without a doubt, you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You rose on the third day. And you believe that with your heart and know it. You are saved. And you are ready to get out of here because there's not much more time. We stress this here to read your Bible, get to know Jesus. We have everything in the description that will help you. We have Robert Breaker at the bottom. If you go in the description, he breaks it down on the chalkboard and teaches you how to rightfully divide the Bible. And I'm telling you, he makes it a lot easier. Once you learn certain things, it opens up a key to where you can understand the Bible, even if you never could understand a bit of it before. You can now. And that's what we're here. We're here to help you get to know Jesus because there is no other way in heaven. It's just lessons through Jesus. This came in uh, earlier. It said, uh, I'm writing in. It says, Hello, Chris. Been watching your channel for a while now. Thank you for getting the message of our Lord out there. Last night I had a dream. I'm not sure what it means. I was walking on a gravel path in a park. The park had a river also. I was walking with a man. In my dream, I knew him, maybe as an acquaintance. As we were walking further down the path, I looked up and I saw a massive tsunami. The size wa the size was uh, wave was uh, coming straight at us. People started to panic and run. The first thought I had is this, like a thief in a night. He turned around and started walking back to where we came from when uh, the sensation of rising to the top of the water, almost like riding the wave in an upright position, as you see in the Little Mermaid movies and such. I was looking up at the sky, and it was, uh, it was this very dark royal blue color. We all keep seeing that color. And medium shade blue mixed in. I saw that color too. There was a small bright white circle of light in the center of the sky. When we started, it had been a clear sunny day. I was yelling at the man next to me on the wave. It has, it has to be Jesus. Jesus is coming over and over. But it was like he didn't hear me. At the same time, I could see ahead of this massive wave and people were running everywhere and screaming in panic because they were swallowed up by the water. The next thing I see is a large tree big enough to stick up out of the water. As I was still on top of the wave, the man next to me was no longer there. I grab a branch and begin to climb. Now this huge tree had no leaves and the trunk and branches were gray in color, very smooth like driftwood. As I began to climb, still looking up and calling for Jesus, I felt some, something on my leg. It was a large python-sized snake, very dark gray in color. I wanted to kick it in the water, but it wrapped around the branch. I continued to climb and see another snake. There was light colored with orange on it. And then the third snake was red. At the same time, I'm still climbing up the tree, praying for Jesus to come. Then I wake up. I'm not sure what the dream may, be, may mean. I can only think of the snakes as serpents representing Satan. I will continue to pray clarification on this dream. Thank you and God bless from Michelle B. in Texas. If anybody wants to add in the description what they think uh, this is, I think the most important thing is not even the snakes. There was three of them. There's that three again. And nobody really paid. The three is significant. I've been seeing it. The other night I seen it in my dream. You saw three snakes. And in my dream, when I saw the mountains collapsing, I was talking about three airplanes. Always the three. I think that's important. Could it be March? Maybe that's what this is. The three, I don't know. I've had a lot of people. We've, we've tried to go over it. Like I said, we don't give dates, and, uh, dates here and stuff like that because we don't know. And nobody will know. I don't care how much they try to tell you they're going to figure it out on YouTube. They'll come out with a new video every day. Don't even ask about the lost. Even try to make a thing to get people saved. But they'll come out with a, a video. It takes them 15 hours to create. And they're just, I mean, their channel's a waste. That's all it is. They just waste. I mean, I think I put out more material per day. Than all these people combined and i'm just because i'm here to help people get to god 
And if you've got a channel that's got 70, 80,000 subscribers and you're not reaching out to the lost, you're not even doing your job. Our job is to reach out and get people saved. If you know the rapture's coming, why the heck ain't you doing something? You can't take out two minutes of your time on your videos to talk to the lost? I mean, people, we don't have much more time. And these people are telling you there's no time, but they don't do anything. They just keep coming out with videos. They don't try to reach the lost. Why do you even have a channel? Get yourselves together. A lot of you out there that's doing these videos, get yourself together. You're doing a great job. I love the videos. But you've got to reach out to the lost. That's, our, that's the only reason we're here. If not, your channel's a waste. If you're not out four or five times a day trying to get as many people saved, that's our job. Yeah, we tell everybody Jesus is coming. That's what he wants us to tell us. But we've got to reach out to those who are lost. If you're expecting everybody to be a Christian to come to your channel and you don't have time for the lost, you're not a Christian. And you're definitely not with God. And I will call out those who use God's name to get clicks and to get on and get stuff for themselves. Because that's what that is. The true ones, I promise you, they'll be out here trying to save you and help you so you don't fade away into oblivion. That's what I do. I love every one of you. That's why I get on here four or five times a day to keep letting you know. Look up the sky. Do your job. Do the things you normally do, but stay awake. That's my job. Is I'm like your alarm clock. I'm here to keep you awake so you can go do the things you need to do. You can go to the park and play basketball and do things, but I'll be here to remind you, stay awake. Don't be go back to sleep. That's my job. I'm a lighthouse. Letting you know that Jesus is coming, and he's coming in the sky, and he's coming soon. He's at the door. But you can't stay to yourself and be done and quit paying your bills, stuff like that. That's not what Jesus wants you to do. He wants you to go on. But being awake, there's a thing to it. And that means you can tell other people and get them ready. A lot of them ain't going to listen to you. It's in the Bible. He's already said they'll scoff, they'll laugh, they'll make fun of you. But the thing is, you might reach that one person that was asleep and they will hear it. God's sheep will hear. A lot of them won't. There will be people who have been in church 30 years. They won't hear you. So they, they've been in church, they go to the church every day, but they don't want Jesus to come. They love this world. That's the problem. Right now, a lot of this world, a lot of the church, everybody is in love with this world, and they don't want to leave it, and they won't be raptured. Those who are awake and waiting on Jesus, that's the only ones that's going to be gone. Because he wants you to know he's coming, and he's coming soon. We can't do our jobs if we're asleep, people. I'm sorry, we can't do it. If we're asleep, worrying about the world and all this fear, you don't fear anything. Everybody's like, are you afraid of this? all this stuff that's coming? Heck no, I won't be here. Why am I scared of it? I'm not scared of the nuclear weapons, the polar shift, and this crap they just came out with that the world's quit rotating, which is, people, if you buy that, that's totally fine. I'm telling you, it's distraction. That's all it is. They don't know if this world's spinning or not. These people don't even know what bathroom to go to. These scientists are idiots. They don't know anything. They tell you the world's a million years old. Don't listen to anything these people say. They lie about everything. The Bible is where you know where everything's coming from. The Bible does not say the world's going to quit spinning. It doesn't say it. So that's a lie. If you know your Bible, you know these things are lies. And that's all they want to do is distraction, 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 distraction. That's what the media is doing because they're run by the devil. They're owned by the devil. All these big companies are owned by the devil. He runs all of them, people. He runs everything that you see right now. Be aware of it. You're in a spiritual war that's not only going on in heaven, but it's also going on earth. We're at war, and we don't even you don't even realize it. But the last days are coming. These ships, like I told everybody months ago, the earthquakes are coming, the missiles are coming, and that will end this. You don't have time. If you're thinking about going on these great vacations and stuff, probably we won't make it to it because I don't think the world's going to be lasting that long. And the way it's going right now, the birth pains are increasing so fast, I can't even keep up with it. That's a sign of revelation that we're almost out of here. So stay on the boat. Don't come off of it. 
just be aware when you're doing all your functions and doing all your things, go out and enjoy yourself, but know Jesus is coming and spread the word that he's coming and try to wake up as many as we can because that's our job. If we can say four or five, we've done our job, people. We At least we tried. That's all we can do. If you don't see or hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.